G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, and welcome back for day 2 of the Mega City Challenge, where almost all of the world is a city. But that doesn't really matter right now, because I don't get to see the whole rest of the world if I don't get my infection under control. Just waiting around overnight, I'm now up to almost 8% infected, so that's looking... That's looking like it's going to come a copper pretty bloody quickly. But before I can head out for the day, the sun is rising over there. So I'm going to cheekily grab a cheeky coffee, take off my clothes, and hurl it down the hatch. Got to start the day somehow. Also, what I wanted to do is quickly bang in that cheeky bloody full auto mod into my pistol. I only found one mod so far and one pistol so far, but it's a match made in heaven. Might even repair you as well. All right. I need to go find some honey today. I need to either find some honey or some antibiotics or something of that measure. I've got not a lot of time to do it in. So I need to get brave and head out there nice and quickly. But hey, before I head out for the day, if you're coming back after episode one and you are new here, perhaps consider giving a little tickle to that subscribe button just because it would really help me out. But with all that shameless promo said, you can go away. There's the morning chime. Let's get pumping. I figure my best chance at finding some honey is like tree stumps and stuff, which will be in the greener areas around here, which will hopefully have... Oh, there's a pop and pills box right there, don't you know? Look at that. Luring me, whispering sweet nothings to me like, Oi, dickhead, come over and put some pills in your mouth and swallow them around a little bit. I want it. I want it bad, but it's too far away. But I think if I go to the green areas, I will have the added benefit of not having to deal with all of the city spawns all of the time. So that's my plan at the moment. It's not a good plan, but it's all I got. I can hear. It's very quiet, so it may not come through in the video, but I can hear the unmistakable pants of a dog. I don't know if it's a zombie dog or a wolf, but I've got my pistol at the ready. This is why finding that pistol on day one was such a good thing, because it means that, like, if I come across a wolf or anything like that before I have a gun, it's just instant death. Oh, it's a zombie dog too. Oh, you quadruped bitch. Um, well, I need to go that way. So if you want to go that way, I'll head this way and we'll just let bygones be bygones. Live and let live and all that. Can I drop down that far? I don't think I can. Go to like that thing. That'll do. That'll do. I mean, I've got to get brave with it and get out there and try and find what I need. But taking on a demon dog, not a good option. Loza, if you could just give me a moment, please. There is a lot of... Ooh, took a swing in your death. Tried to go full martyr with it. There's a bunch of newspapers here that I want to have a squiz at and do me daily crosswords. Have me morning coffee, do my morning crossword as well. Found a lot of spear books, actually. How am I looking for the spear series? Spear Hunter. Six out of seven? Jeez, I might... I mean, I'm going to have to make myself a spear or two then. If I'm going to be kicking the dick out of everyone with me long pole with a stone on the end of it, don't have any other long poles, don't know what you're talking about, then it might be worthwhile me actually making one of those bad boys. Nothing in you. We need one more spear book. That's come from a, from the back of the pack to be a... <gasps> that's a soldier. Sorry, go on this way. To be a leader very bloody quickly. Oh, look at it. Oh, the memories are flooding back. And it wasn't even that long ago that the clock tower was my home. Now look at it. All bland and boring like you were when I found you way back when. I mean, I know I'm on a mission to find some honey, but I can't not. I can't not go and pay a respectful visit to the place I called home for, well, not nearly as long as I wanted to, but still a decent chunk of time. <sighs> I love that base. God damn, I love that base so bloody much. And now it's just like sitting in front of me, teasing me with memories. I didn't actually realize that I do have a skill point to spend. So that's going to be, ooh, I really want that one. Maybe the next level of archery. That could be pretty handy too. Or from the shadows. I reckon from the shadows. If I can just stay stealthy for longer, that's going to be good. Oh. Someone heard me open the door. Moza, that's fine. Trundle on over and I'll introduce you to my friendly bone. Take a swing, take a miss, and take a knife to the chops. God, I love instant decap. Oh, now you're really getting the bone. Oh, look at it. This used to be me digs. 
You just have all me bloody campfires and shit going on here. Not too long ago at all. Up to the very top, you looked better with a gyro pad on your sunny gym. I will check your weapons bag though. Got anything good for me? A pipe rifle? I mean, I, I don't... That's, this is the thing though. Finding that toilet pistol so early. So, oh shit. Such a game changer because now like, like finding that pipe rifle will be like, oh, this sucks, but it's better than nothing. But now, like, I guess I'll just use it if I really need to. I'll find like a deer or something. I might be able to one shot, I'll go for it. But it's not going to be the difference between me getting spattered and me dying. I've come out of town a little bit. Excuse me, bud. is sprouting up like corn out here. Stick you in the ground by the ankles and you'll be seven foot tall in no time. But I've managed to find myself in... I mean, a bit of a greener area than where I was before. There's a Vendo over there. I suppose, like, I mean, Vendos might sell me honey, but how do I get money now? Money for honey and chicks for free. I don't even know how to do that without the trader. So I guess if I find any in any cash registers, that'll be a really good day. Or ATMs and stuff actually might be a good shout. I don't know, though. Is it even possible for you to find tree stumps? Do they spawn as part of POIs? Because even though it's green out here, most of it's still buildings. What I need, actually, you know those, like, little roadside stalls? I'm pretty sure there's, like, a, a bee one, a honey one, isn't there? Oh! Oh! Yep, there's one right there. There is the bee! So, I mean, listen, you're selling honey. I just need a couple. I need, I literally, oh, I need three now, actually. If you have three jars of honey, I would very much appreciate just like sinking my face into it and motorboating it like it's Stifler's mum. It's a bit of a dated reference now, is there? I did get a cooking grill out of that though. Medical supplies. Damn it, recog. That's not medical at all. I need actual health garbage. Gubbins? Garbage? I need actual health stuff. Not the, oh, not the garbage you've given me. Come on, come on. Never been so excited to see a stump. Damn it, no honey. That's okay. All right, we'll keep on track though. We'll keep on crossing our fingers tight and hoping for the best. I've made my way into like the, I don't know, the town around the city as opposed to the city proper. I don't want to go too far from home though. Damn it, don't want to go too far out of this place. Got another stump, quickly break you down. I'm really hungry. I need to start at, l at least considering looking for some food. Like, yeah, the infection sucks. And as time goes, <gasps> As time goes on, it's only going to get worse. Oh, not only does that cure 5% infection, just like get handfuls of that amber goop and rub it into your pores. Any way it can get in your mug is a good way. Oh, there's another, another stump just there. Actually, I'll grab you soon. But I didn't start. Oh, there's another one there too. Fucking, the, it's a jackpot of stumpy boys out here. But I need to find uh, some food. Pretty hot smark. I'm getting real hungry. Nothing in that one. So if a cheeky chicken or a deer or something wants to show up, just, uh, just yes, please. I will pat you and then I'll eat you. Oh, it gave me another one. It gave me another one. It's, oh, yeah, I'll do it. It's going to leave me with 0 0.3, 0 0.3 or an infection remaining. So it won't cure me. But the best thing about finding honey is, I mean, while you're getting infected, is that that's going to stop me going up. It's like, it's like a 10 infection point swing. Rather than copping another five, not only is it not going up anymore, it's actively going down. I'm not explaining some, something that's bleeding obvious, but I'm just excited about it, okay? I found the honey I needed. If there's any more stumps about, I would very much like it, please. What's around? Where are you? There's a rabbit right there. I was going to say, I wasn't going to take any chance if I tried to shoot it with a bow. Went with the pistol instead and shanked the first shot. And now I'll shank Wopsy as well. Get a couple of bits of food out of you. That'll stay for you off for hopefully a day. Though the metabol- Ooh, the metabolism of old mate is bloody ridiculous. Sorry, Chuck. Had to put a, a round up your clacker a bit just to put you down. Don't be so bloody dramatic about it, but I'll take your wings home. Got chicken wings and rabbit stew. What a time to be eating. Got a can of pears. Quickly chuck you in. Ten food out of you. Nancy's coming to have a squeeze of what all the ruckus was about. Don't mind me, Chook. Just taking care of a different Chook. Uh, listen. Okay, like, I feel bad. I gave that chicken a knife. I'll give it to you, too. I promise I wiped it down in between. Though I think salmonella is the least of your problems. I always want to search the cars when I come across them because they usually have 
something decent. We've already got a tier two stone axe. So I'll scrap your part and use you to repair this one. Oh, I keep getting distracted by buildings. I'm looking for stumps. Stump, 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 stump. I thought I saw it at the corner. Oh, and sure enough, I did. I keep getting distracted because now I'm thinking I need food. So I'm looking for animals. And because I, th like, in my mind, I've already eaten the honey, I need one more honey to completely finish. Yes! Completely get myself sorted. Fuck a loodaloo. We're back in business. I can hear someone coming up behind me. Didn't get any more honey out of that. Oh, Struth Sheila, you want to just fucking calm down there for a second? I'm playing with me stump under a tree. Doesn't mean you get to pop up the shops and give me some strife too. <gasps> oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. I don't think the pistol's my best chance. It's definitely the bow. Stay there, big fella. Oh, gotcha. I hit you right in the rump because I shanked it off me twig of a bow. But we got the clean kill. But look, I'm very sorry, okay? I didn't mean for it to come to this, but I'm hungry as fuck. I just need to give you a quick little pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Thank you for your sacrifice. Now sacrifice more meat to me. I've gotten so sidetracked with my food and honey quest for the day. I actually don't know where I am. I think I can... Yeah, there we go. I think I can see Dishong through the trees. It's kind of nice, actually. Wherever I go, I know that Dishong is... More or less next door. It's just across the road on the diagonal, actually. So if I can find Dishong, I can find home. It's actually pretty handy. I might even head back to town. Now that I've got my life in order for the morning, I might head back to town and see if I can raid a, uh, another spear hunter book. See if I can raid a cheeky food joint to try and find some vitamins. Maybe even a popping pills. Maybe popping pills is in vitamins. I mean, vitamins is in popping pills, actually. Just take what I said originally and turn it around. Because sometimes turning it around makes it better. Talking about pillows, by the way. The cold side of the pillow. Get your head out of the gutter. I must have searched every newspaper stand this side of the city, to be perfectly honest. I've gone through a whole host of them. It's still giving me the same three series, which is fine. But it's all the same books, which kind of happens when you're looking for the last coupler on your journey. Search you. Oh, same one again. So it's just like, is there three books I'm missing? I've got two more needle and threads. Wait. Yeah, one of which is the one book that I actually want out of you. Book seven is the golden book. I thought for a second it was about different pockets, but no, that's the double pocket book. That's fine. I need one more book of archery and one more book of spears. So we're four books away from finishing three book series, which is bleeding ridiculous. Sorry, Chuck. Had to put you down. Give me all them chicken breasts, though. Going straight on the fire. Tell you what, there's plenty of chickens around the place. I might even... I might be better served to save me ammo. Now that it's not quite as dire straits, I'm not as, as desperate to get some meat in me as I was before. Maybe I'll just go the old-fashioned way and rig its neck with a bone. I mean, that'll work. Don't know what you were doing. I charged up to you slobbering like a bloody Fred Flintstone. And you just let it happen. Might as well call you Thelma. I've come back home again, and I'm just kind of sussing out if there's a good way. Like, that's my house right there with the crack in the window. I might even take over two floors, actually. That'd be kind of nice. Bit swanky. Have, like, the penthouse up the top where, like, I live, and then look at my workstations and stuff down the bottom. Though that's a long way down the road. Oh, I thought you were, like, some sort of weird amalgamation of crawlers and zombies hustling your way over here for a second, but that's all right. But, um, I've, now that I've got my honey and I'm not going to die of infection anymore, I can start planning for the future. Someone call a zombie financial advisor. I definitely need to sort out a faster way in and out of this joint because going the normal way took a heck of a long time to get back up here. Um, kind of broken the entryway there as well because I had to break shit down to get some fuel for my fire. Literally. Mmm. I forgot the bacon of the eggs needs a recipe. That is rather upsetting. But okay then. I'm getting a bit peckish. But I can't make anything good right now. Can you all just hang out in there for just a moment? All right, I have to go. What's the time? It's almost one o'clock. Sure, this day is going well for me. Nice and slow. Give me lots of ample opportunity to sort my shit out because I need all the chances I can get. I need to find somewhere that's going to serve me food. I know that, like, you know, the wait staff won't be there, but I'll make it work. Oh. Are you in me house? Yes, you are. Good shooting, idiot. For goodness sake, he's stuck on barbed wire and you're still making an utter 
utter meal out of it. Make a meal out of your suit and Josh. Doesn't mean you're going to get fed at all. That is another level up though. To cook a chuck into agility. Now I have a pistol. Gunslinger seems like a great bloody idea. Bonds are made. I'll take that one with me. Don't be feral. Don't be feral. Please don't be feral. No, you're just a regular clown. All right, good. God, I'm... I want to play soccer with your foot. I want to play soccer with your bloody head. Get over here. Can I play with you? Oh, kind of. Nah, not really. Get absolutely spanked in none of the good ways. You showed up and I talked you clean out. The only way I haven't really gone yet is to the west, which is towards the town hall over there. So I'll start trundling myself in that general direction. That's empty. Are you guys empty too? I would have thought so. All of the newspaper stands for like a mile radius has been ransacked by me, except for in this direction. So that's the way I'm headed. I'm now thirsty and hungry, so I really desperately need a cheeky snack. Jen, where are you? I'm in the mood for a snack. There's a little like, I don't know, cafe pop-up stand over here that might serve me well. Will serve me well. Coffee immediately. I know it's technically a diuretic, but I mean, it's going to hydrate whether you like it or not. It's like 99% water. How can that possibly make you more thirsty? Nothing else there. All right, that's fine. I've got some more around the place, though. This is nice. It's out for a nice stroll through the park in the shade of the trees, <laughs> stealing everyone's snacks. Oh, there is a demon doggo on the court. There's two demon doggos on the basketball court over there. Fortunately, I wasn't really in the mood for any hoops, so you can just stay there and I will leave you the dick alone. You want to sit over there and munch on the thigh bones of whatever Muppets have strayed over there? Ooh, yes, please. To be shamelessly murdered? That's fine. Pick your big canine teeth with a femur. I'll be somewhere else. Got some sewers that we'll need exploring eventually too, but the first thing I want to explore is the back of Old Mate's work unit. See if he's got any cool ratchets or spanners for me. I mean, kind of. Motor tool parts, we'll keep those in mind for later. I'm still on the quest for food. So far, it's been pretty successful. Got some teas and frothies, and already had some snacks along the way to get myself all nice and sorted out. There's a vendor just there. Was there another booth though? Wait, where was that? Where was the basketball court? Uh, there. So that's where I don't want to go. So I want to go up here and turn right. No. No more booths? Okay, that's fine. I've had my fill. I'll stop being greedy. We've made it back to the main street, I think. Well, I'm not exactly sure where I am. That little detour has sent me around the twist a little bit like I've got a big fish stuck in me, paper. Uh, where am I? Well, okay, so I'm just north of this. So if I head back down here, that'll take me back. Oh, there's the town hall just there, actually. Probably could have figured that out on my lonesome. My frame rate is starting to take a bit of a shit though. Because this is all city, so I was expecting my frame rate to have some issues. Uh, I might at some point have to chuck in an optimization mod. It'll hurt the graphics a bit, but it'll make it run much smoother. We'll see how we go though. I think it's just because there's a lot of zombies around. Oh, oh, I thought that was a white. I thought that was a white and I puckered ever so much. No, nope, not that book. No, nope, not that book. Damn it, come on. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. I finally finished one of the series. I have the last book of the Spear Hunter franchise. Give me that fa the earliest fanfare I think I've ever gotten. Day two completing a book series? Unheard of, but give me the trumpets. Oh, it's a good time. So what does that actually give me? Oh, what? <laughs> fucking double trumpety goodness like we're conducting a fucking knowledgeable orchestra. Oh, all right. I'm all about it. So what do I actually get? What is the big hubbub about both of these? You, I can bolt craft arrows. That's dope. Sneak attack to 20% chance uh, of knockdown. Greater chance of knockdown even. Bows to red slower. All these things are really good things. Plus, speary boys. 10% more damage. Maybe I need to make a spear. At least to give it a crack. Plus, power attacks do more damage to down targets. So, stab in the face and then throw in the chops. That could be doable. That could be really do bloody doable. Pete's Pub, the best venue in all of Nava's game. Oh, it's had an uplift as well, or a facelift. I love this place. I want to go see what it's like upstairs. I'd love to play a gig there because it's a dope-ass venue. Oh, oh, that's a feral. Oh, that's a feral. I heard the sounds of what I thought was a wolf having a fight with a zombie. Easy. 
So I thought, all right, I'll go and have a bit of a squeeze at what's going on. But then old Mabitani Glow Eyes over here came charging around the corner. Mate, Bright Eyes is normally a compliment, but at the moment you can take those Bright Eyes and go and illuminate your own death. Was there a wolf out here? Because if there's a wolf, wolves are made of meat. There is a wolf. And I would like some meat, please. Plus, hopefully you're half fucked up from your zombie fight. Can I... There you go. There you go. Easy. Easy. Gotcha. Nice and clean. God, this pistol was a good get. Um... I was gonna say, I was... Oh, guys, another feral. Oh, I murdered this pet bunny. This is the Doomerine confirmed. Missed it. There you go. There you go. Just gonna get you sat down. No, don't ride him. Stab him. Wrong bone there, Jigglypuff. Calm your bloody collective farm. Sorry about your pet bunny there, but I didn't really mean to do it, but... Well, he just looked delicious, and he was sat up on the wall. Probably because he was tame, actually. I thought he was being a Muppet, but... No, nope, it was just your tame pet flops, and... Well, he's not flopping around anymore, is he? No, nope, not that one. And not that one, but we can hear the fanfare again. Still so satisfying. I'm still so stoked with that. There's a soldier up on that wall over there, having a bit of an outlook and a watch over everything that's going on. Cheeky Nance as well. It's hard to know if they're going to be ferals or not until they start chasing you. Unless you see the glints in their eyes. Oh! So Bobby Paws as well. You need some super corn later on. Got some just down the road. But now we know that farming is worthless, so that's less exciting than it may have once been. Well, I suppose like, I can go there and get like 20 super corn or so, and that will still so. <gasps> ah, you prick! That'll still serve me well. There's only one more book I don't have now. One more book remaining, and of course, because it's freaking Seven Days to Die, it's the only book that I really actually need. Needle and Thread Volume 7, where the dick nuts are ya? It's starting to rain, and it is getting a little bit late. Ooh, extra honey out of you. Thank you. I'll keep that in my back pocket for, well, I was going to say a rainy day, but it's starting to piss on down, so I guess a different rainy day. Oh, that's a cop. Oh, shit. Um, um, home is just there, but I don't want him, oh, fuck. I don't want him following me home. I might just have to murder him, you know? But if I can get some distance, he might forget where I was. Okay, flops, and just, like, chill out a little bit, and then I can get some stealth damage on him. Oh, there's zombies everywhere. There's zombies everywhere. Why are there so many zombies in this zombie apocalypse? Yeah, I think he's forgotten about me, so I'm going to try and sneaky dick my way over there and pick his pockets a bit. There you go. Stop still. Nice. I just wanted that first headshot with the bow to get that juicy, juicy self damage. There we go. There we go. I am burning through my 9mm ammo much faster than I would normally like to, though. That likely also called in a bunch of galahs, so I'll just dispatch of those as I can. Come on. Nope. Ow. There we go. Stop getting so bold, Josh. You're armed with a thigh bone. Stop getting brave with shit. Oh. Oh, God. It's the dog kennel. It's... So that's where the cop came from. And there's just a lot of dogs in there. If I kill you, do you wake up your friends? No, but you definitely wake up yourself. Shit. Shit. This was dumb. What? I think I could do this. Oh, that's so tough. Nah. Nah. Fuck it. I'll deal with it another day. I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm gone. Oh, demon dogs are bad. I mean, there's a whole crew of them. That's just not a good place to be, mate. What I was supposed to be doing was looking for, like, a pop and pills or something around here somewhere so that I can get myself some vitamins to stave off this exhaustion. But I didn't do a very good job of that because I, I don't even know what I was doing. I got distracted by books, I think. I don't even know. Just did a bit of a, bit of a ring around a rosy and then headed back home. Not your best. Not your best, Josh. I'll check down here real quick and see if I missed anything. God, I set out with a mission, I focus on it for three seconds, then immediately forget what I was doing. Got a working stiffs and a long drop shop. Um, oh, it's Cathedral Way, though, all the way down to Notre Dame down there. Come on, there's got to be... There's got to be a popping pills around here somewhere. Chuck, come here. Come here. Gotcha. Sorry. I just, I, I still need food though. I need to get myself sorted out. I've gone out and done a lot today, but not a lot of that was actually preparing for the future. 
Come on. Come on, stamina. <laughs> oh, look. Sorry, Nance. You, this happens all the time. I have to ask Arlene. You come over. Want to have a play with me, Bone? I just don't have the stamina for it. Man, maybe going Bone and Oz is a bad idea because I just can't resist the Entendres. There's another clock tower all the way over there. I'm not going to explore too much further because the zombies are starting to head me off a little bit. Police department, donut shop. Ooh, I could go a donut. Like a strawberry icing sprinkle donut. Basically like a cartoon donut. Call me Homer Simpson and put it in me face. Man, I could really go one of those. But my snacky cravings aside, maybe I've been searching for food all day. So now like, it's just in my brain to be going and getting snacks and delicious treats. There's no popping pills around here though. All right, it's getting late. It's getting late. We've done enough for one day. We've got some food. We've got some drinks. We got some honey as well. So a good day, all things said and done. The infection's gone now as well. That's fine. We set ourselves up nicely for the rest of the week. Made it back home. Chuck all the stuff I can away. I now have a choco bloody block storage container. I'm gonna have to make another one of those, but it's fine because now I do actually have some wood. So I've got eggs and I've got meat. I don't want... This is the problem. I know the bacon and eggs are the tits. So I want to make those, but I can't yet because I don't have the knowledge to just smack both of these things in a pan and see how it goes. But I'm going to have to figure out something because I am rather peckish. Go like that. Can't even slap the meat on the grill either. Still works me so much the grilled meat is hidden behind a recipe. The only like barrier to entry for that should be finding a grill. That's fine, whatever. We'll just char up some meat instead. Gonna make a full complement of 10. In you go. You're gonna need some more fuel for the fire. And that which I desire. There we go. I've come up to the roof again to have a bit of a squeeze, a bit of a scout around and see if I can see any popping pills anywhere. Like I know this. <laughs> still teasing me. There's the popping pills box just there. So maybe I'll raid that joint, but it looks like a pr Oh god, I'm, I'm out on a ledge. I didn't really mean to be. Let's get back to where it's mildly safe. Um, the problem with that is, though, that looks like a pretty decent POI. Not really something to be taken um, half assed, which is how I basically do everything. We've got, we've got a bank, we've got a parking lot, special tots, working stiffs, and a robotics place, and houses for as far as the eye can see. Damn it, I guess all the poppin' pills places are on the other part of this gigantic city because there's none here. I reckon that's the goer. Yes, there's a hospital in the distance, but that's not really what I'm eyeing right now. All that stuff there looks like low-intensity industrial area. If my city's skylines knowledge is back in there anywhere, that would be handy. Like, all of this is like CBD, Central Business District, got the town hall, skyscrapers. You know, this is where you go to do finance work. But if you want to buy your groceries... I reckon that's the joint out there with the big car parks and hopefully some retail outlets. So I reckon that's the way to go. It is. Wait, what direction am I actually looking right now? Past Bobby Ball. So it's down to the south. So I follow that. Go past Bob's and head out there. I reckon that's going to be my best shot at finding a popping pills. But I think that building there with the blue roof, that's got pills written all over it. It's going to take my time to chow down on some charred meats. Put that inside me. For every two of those, I need to have... Every four of those, I need to have a water. So if I have that, that'll give me a nice 10 and 10 boosty boy. But I'm definitely more hungry than I am thirsty. So just keep on cruising along. I'm not even find the vitamins. I even got a Vegemite Sanger. Because I'm a man down under. Waiting to be put into me for all that healy foody goodness. Now that I've got my life in order a little bit, actually, I'll grab myself the wood and I'll put down another chest. There we go. So I can go through and get all of my food materials and put them in a separate box. Got to start getting my inventory sorted from the get-go because otherwise I'll just never bloody do it and it will just itch away at me forever. Got lots of glue. It's pretty good. Any other food items in here? Any other foodstuffs? That could be foodstuffs. Um... Not really much else. All right, nice. That is the nighttime chime, though. That's fine. I'm up in my house. I'm crouched. I'm stealthy. What a glorious sunset, though. I'm excited. I'm excited to renovate this joint. Like, having this as, like, my penthouse and the room downstairs as my crafting area is going to be sick. Plus, when I get rid of all these blinds, the views out of here are going to be incredible. Did I choose my base purely because it's going to have nice aesthetics? Yes, I did. I'm not even going to pretend for a second like I didn't. But that is the end of another day. The second day in Mega City. We've cured our infection. 
We're still kind of messed up. We're a little bit exhausted, but I took more than three steps, and that means I'm pretty exhausted. But we've got ourselves some food, some ammo, and a gun. We're in pretty good stead. We're looking pretty pretty, I think. Old cash, I have no idea what to do with. I guess I'd chuck you in the campfire or something. It is a shame. I really do wish there was like, it was a part of the game that you could use old cash to buy stuff from vending machines. Because who's going around retrofitting vending machines to take tokens anyway? But it would mean that if you're doing a no trader run like this, it would still have a value other than just being sold. But we're looking pretty good, I think. What's it gonna take to get a forge? That's kind of where I need to start looking. Like, yes, the horde is coming up. It's still several days away. The forge is the next thing I'm going to need. And to do that, what do I need? Advanced engineering or a forge schematic. So I need to go probably out into the burbs, actually, and look for some construction sites. Like that one, maybe. Because construction sites have the workstations that I can try and get the, the schematics out of. So you go down, pop them pills, schematics that's what i need to do in the next episode look at that sunset though it's glorious we'll have to come back and find those things in the next episode because this episode is done oh, i hope you guys are enjoying mega city by the way because i'm having an absolute time so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the page the patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make the like button down below subscribe to this channel Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.